Welcome back to Upper Michigan today, everybody, and happy sunny Monday. We are joined now by artist Brianna Wood, as known as Queen Bee Artistry on Facebook. Brianna, we actually had you uh, on Upper Michigan today. I think it was two summers ago now. It was Steve and I co-hosting, and you did a live painting of us. That's something that you do, that you do for weddings. I think that is so cool, but your work goes beyond just private clients you now have a lot of public artwork in Marquette's downtown in some businesses throughout Marquette County when did your artwork really take off when did you start creating these public pieces for all of us to enjoy um, when I decided hey it's it's time and people started asking me and my answer is always yes how do you describe your work? Because as I was going through your pieces and looking at the different pictures, I noticed how vibrant and bold they are. Um, they're they're not like a soft. They're not usually soft colors. They're they're loud. Um, so if someone's looking for something, is is that kind of your specialty? Is that something you really enjoy? Yeah. Um, how I would describe it is full of light and passion. They're all from the heart. Every single brushstroke is fully from my heart. Yeah. And you were chosen as one of the artists to do a mural on the bike path in Marquette. And uh, I guess first, how did that process come about? So you had to submit a mock-up and I felt really inferior and like, oh, we'll try it. And I read through the words and I saw the word remember and I'm like, oh, that's the one I have to do because my mom just passed in February and I was like, I remember her and I know so many people who either have lost loved ones to Alzheimer's or are going through the thick of it and it was the darkest time in my life. So just to bring a little light and hope and love to something so dark, I, I want to be the one to do that. Yeah. And I'm sure it has so much personal significance to so many other people, not just you. So it's a really beautiful touch that you could put into that message. Can we? take a look at that remember piece so this is on Marquette's Lakeshore Brianna how long did it take you to complete this piece oh well <laughs> so the first time I was doing it I got rained out and I was so disheartened I was like uh, yeah I came back and it was all gone and I had to redo it the next day so it took me about half a day and then of course that's not all that you do we have some other um um, samples of your work and the first one is it's it's being revealed right here on Upper Michigan today for the first time and it's a it's a special piece yeah so it's of the priest in um, Ishming he's now moving but I did that upon request um, they're all personal commissions and this one I was pretty proud of I have his two uh, churches in the background and then a portrait of him in the foreground yeah. so it's so beautiful, um, and, and but I mean, you do landscapes, you do outdoor scenes. Um, we have a, a picture of a lighthouse that I wanted to show you all at home. Um, so you, it seems like you get outside a lot in your paintings. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and that's the art of live wedding painting too. Is you're out, you're doing it right on spot. So it's like plein air painting is it's the art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I can imagine that'd be a lot of work just keeping up with the movement because at a wedding, is anybody ever really <laughs> so true? Stay? But but then some of the other work you do is inside businesses like this one. We actually saw a couple of yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, we Michigan were there. Oh, we'll, awesome. we'll show it to you again right now, too, uh, at Milano's Smokehouse. How did that one come about? Oh, that was so, it, it was awesome. Um, they just, at, she posted on Facebook, and I was like, choose me, please. And she did, and she put her full trust, no mock-up or anything, which is incredible that she trusted me with the whole process. Um, I'm really appreciative that she did so <laughs> it turned out really nice and I have noticed a lot of customers take their picture in front of it and pose and just have that moment it's it's a great backdrop for them yeah it's such an honor and then we have another a few more that we want to share um one of them is an ice skater and I thought this one was just so cute because you see the little girl and then you see her kind of dreaming and and aspiring to something into the future absolutely and she actually had it signed by the famous figure skater nancy kerrigan so i thought that was really cool because i got to be a part of something so special for the little girl who's um it's named a little dreamer so Perfect. That it's is perfect. so sweet. You're also a prolific pet portrait painter. I have, yes. I just got into that up, upon request. And if you have something that you're looking for or wanting me to do, um, my hand is out. And if you reach your hand out, we'll go and 
be creative together. <laughs> I love the eyes in those dog photos. You can almost like see the spirit of the animal in the, in the painting. And I would imagine eyes are challenging. They're the easiest part, and oh, the they part are? they are they are the part I do the last because it brings the whole piece together. It's like the soul is in the eyes, so that's the part I do. I do it last, and I try to do it very well. <laughs> you do it very well. See, I, my eyes would be like cross-eyed, and you know what I mean. Like, the, remember that time we tried to paint each other? It was. It didn't go well. <laughs> we'll have to show you those photo, those uh, paintings, because. <laughs> <laughs> They're a little scary, but okay. Well, we thought we would maybe do a little painting with you today and make our own mural here at TV6. Let's do it. Okay. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to go set up shop right in front of the front door and create a lasting masterpiece for all who come to the station. I can't wait. We'll be right back. <laughs> 